Welcome to Effector from the Electronic Frontier Foundation. This is the audio edition of EFF's email newsletter geared towards keeping you on the bleeding edge of your digital rights. This is Effector Volume 36, Issue 9, titled Decoding the Court's Digital Decisions. This issue was published in July 2024, and I'm your host, membership advocate Christian Romero. Let's start with our top features. First up, Victory. Supreme Court rules platforms have First Amendment right to dictate what speech to carry free of state mandates. The U.S. Supreme Court correctly found that social media platforms, like newspapers, bookstores, and art galleries before them, have First Amendment rights to curate and edit the speech of others they deliver to their users. And the government has very limited role in dictating what social media platforms must and must not publish. And for our last feature, it's time for lawmakers to listen to courts. Your law regulating online speech will harm internet users' free speech rights. Whatever the good intentions of lawmakers, laws that censor the internet directly harm people's ability to speak online, access others' speech, remain anonymous, and preserve their privacy. Recent decisions by the Supreme Court and two federal district courts underscore how these laws, in addition to being unconstitutional, are also bad policy. And now, let's go through some EFF updates. How to Fix the Internet Podcast Chronicling Online Communities Director, writer, and actor Alex Winter, a leading documentarian of the evolution of internet communities, joins EFF's Cindy Cohen and Jason Kelly to discuss the harms of behavioral advertising, what algorithms can and can't be blamed for, and promoting the kind of digital literacy that can bring about a better internet for all of us. Next up, government has extremely heavy burden to justify TikTok ban, EFF tells appeals court. The federal ban on TikTok must be put under the finest judicial microscope to determine its constitutionality, EFF and others argued in a friend of the court brief filed to the U.S. Court of Appeals for the D.C. Circuit. Next up, drone as first responder programs are swarming across the United States. Look up! You'll probably see many more drones overhead as more police departments seek to implement a popular project justifying the deployment of unmanned aerial vehicles. The quote, drone as first responder. Next up, we've got a victory. Grand jury finds Sacramento cops illegally shared driver data. For the past year, EFF has been sounding the alarm about police in California illegally sharing drivers' location data with anti-abortion states, putting abortion seekers and providers at risk of prosecution. So we applaud the Sacramento County Grand Jury for hearing this call and investigating two police agencies that had been unlawfully sharing this data out of state. And for our last update, Beyond Pride Month, protections for LGBTQ plus people all year round. The end of June concluded Pride Month, yet the risks LGBTQ plus people face persist every month of the year. We know it feels overwhelming to think about how to keep yourself safe, so here are some quick and easy steps you can take to protect yourself at in-person events, as well as to protect your data. Everything from your private messages with friends to your pictures and browsing history. And now, let's cover a few announcements. First up, EFF welcomes Tara Wheeler to its board of directors. EFF is honored to announce that Tara Wheeler, a social scientist studying international conflict, an author, and a poker player who is CEO of cybersecurity compliance company Red Queen Dynamics, has joined EFF's board of directors. Next up, EFF Livestream series coming to a platform near you. EFF is excited to kick off a new series of livestream events this summer. Please join EFF staff and fellow Digital Freedom supporters as we dive into three topics near and dear to our hearts. The U.S. Supreme Court takes on the internet, reproductive justice in the digital age, and how to protest with privacy in mind. RSVP now! And for our last announcement, Craig Newmark Philanthropies matches EFF's monthly donors. Craig Newmark Philanthropies will match up to $30,000 for your first year as a new monthly or annual EFF sustaining donor. Many thanks to Craig Newmark, founder of Craigslist and persistent supporter of Digital Freedom, for making this possible. And now, we have one job opening. Director of Major Gifts EFF is seeking a full-time director of Major Gifts to develop and implement donor engagement and fundraising strategies while also stewarding and cultivating top-level major donor relationships. And now it's that time to go through some mini-links. First up from NPR, Surgeon General's call for labels on social media is fear-mongering, say opponents. 
quote, the Surgeon General is leaning into sort of fear-mongering and concern without a scientific basis to label speech platforms that we all use to share, express ourselves, and that teens all use, likening them to dangerous products like cigarettes or vehicles. End quote. EFF's Aaron Mackey told NPR's Mary Louise Kelly. This next one comes from State's Newsroom. Abortion surveillance isn't new, but monitoring has increased post-Dobbs, activists say. Quote, it hasn't really been long since Dobbs and since states have actually started implementing extremely abortion-restrictive laws. So, we're still in sort of the nascent stages of abortion prosecutions. End quote. EFF's Lisa Femia said. This final mini-link comes from TechCrunch. Telegram says it has about 30 engineers. Security experts say that's a red flag. Telegram is not just a messaging app. It's also a social media platform. As a social media platform, it is sitting on an enormous amount of user data, EFF's Eva Galperin said. 30 engineers means there is no one to fight legal requests. There is no infrastructure for dealing with abuse and content moderation issues. And that's a wrap. We made it to the end. Thanks for listening. If you like what you're hearing or would like to learn more, subscribe at EFF.org slash Effector. Did you know EFF is a member-supported nonprofit organization? You can help us protect digital freedoms online by donating at EFF.org slash Effect and even grab some of our latest member gear. Thanks for your support, and I hope you'll join us for the next issue of Effector.